Ancient Egypt. Dynasties built thousands of years ago, half a world away. Today, ruins stand where mighty leaders built their monuments. Yet, artifacts, carefully unearthed over time, give us a glimpse into the lives of the pharaohs and their subjects. Their history alive once again in Houston in a world premiere exhibition. Take a journey with KPRC2 to the Houston Museum of Natural Science, to ancient Egypt, and the reign of Ramses the Great. Hello from the Houston Museum of Natural Science in the Museum District. I'm Owen Conflenti. And I'm Lisa Hernandez. KPRC2 is giving you a rare look inside a world premiere exhibition. And that's not all the Houston Museum of Natural Science has to offer. Where else in Houston can you bring the family to see massive dinosaur skeletons and a rainforest conservatory filled with more than a thousand butterflies? I love seeing all the butterflies. And in addition to the permanent exhibits that are here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science, we're going to introduce you to a world premiere exhibit making a trip around the world and a stop right here in Houston. Ramses the Great and the Gold of the Pharaohs is here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science through May 23rd and it's your chance to see 181 priceless artifacts from Ramses' time in ancient Egypt. That's about 3,200 years ago. All of these relics have been uncovered and preserved so you can see them up close. That includes animal mummies. Cats were sacred to the ancient Egyptians and their wealthy owners mummified them to bring them along to the afterlife. Now, speaking of mummies, you can see a real human mummy and the ornate sarcophagus in which he was buried. There are also beautiful gems, royal masks, and lots and lots of gold. And a virtual reality experience that takes you inside the tomb of Queen Nefertari, one of Ramses the Great's favorite wives. There's so much to see and experience here, and we'll be giving away a VIP museum experience package for four later in the show. So keep watching for your chance to win. And Ramses the Great's namesake is the centerpiece of this world premiere exhibition at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. But who was Ramses and what made him great? Let's learn more about one of ancient Egypt's legendary builders. Ramses the Great was a pharaoh from the 19th dynasty. The most well-known Egyptian pharaoh because he was a builder. Actually, he built temples everywhere from Abu Simbel in the south to the delta in the north. The builder of most of the monuments and temples of Egypt that, that are still standing nowadays. Usually with Egypt, people think of King Tut as uh, a great pharaoh, but King Tut was only a minor pharaoh at the time. Here you've got Ramses. Ramses the Great is called the Great because he built so much and he did so many things and fought so many battles. As a fighter, he really did fight the Hittites and he did sign the first treaty, first peace treaty between the Hittites and Egypt. Not only a builder, he was a family man. He was married this beautiful lady Nefertari and also other seven queens. He had more than 100 children. He reigned for over 60 years. He ruled during the time that Egypt was at the height of its golden age and he died in his 90s. So a lot of, of the local Egyptians at the time only knew of one pharaoh, and they really thought of him as the god. Ramses had the second longest reign in Egyptian history from 1279 to 1213 BC. Now he was succeeded as pharaoh by his son Merneptah, who as we just learned was more, one of more than a hundred children Ramses the Great had. We're joined now by Dr. Dirk Van Turnhout, curator of anthropology here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Great to be with you. Welcome to the museum. We're excited for you to take us on a tour. I can't wait. Let's go. Let's go. So the tour begins with an incredible video experience and it's just one of many videos that you'll see along the way. It is, and Dr. Dirk, it's just the very beginning of this incredible exhibit. Exactly. The video sets the stage. Now people have a little inkling as to who the person is that the exhibit is all about. And by the way, we are looking at his face, Ramses II. This carving, together with all the other artifacts here, comes straight from museums in Egypt. So this is all transferred from Egypt to us. And so let's go see the rest of the show. Let's do it. 
We had to stop at this display because, Doctor, the backstory is fascinating here. Indeed, we are looking at a scale model of two temples built in the southern part of Egypt in a place called Abu Simbel, very close to Lake Aswan. That lake started to be built or rose in the 1960s. Before that, there was no lake, and this particular temple complex was actually several hundred feet further down. As the water was rising, these two had to be saved, and they were. It took a decade of this assembling everything. These statues that are very, very tall had to be cut in pieces and then moved up the hill and then put inside a fake rock with a fake dome, not a fake dome, a real dome, but everything inside was reconstructed. It's painted and everything had to be done very, very carefully. And there's two temples here. Restored in a, in a beautiful way. Absolutely. Uh, but, but what about the significance of these temples uh, in particular? Well, these are mortuary temples. One is dedicated to Ramses II, and there's another one to his beloved wife Nefertari, who is venerated in a temple right next to his. That's ex different in its own way because that doesn't happen very often. Also, the statuary shows her at the same height as his uh, statues, and that was unusual also because typically women were depicted smaller and maybe not even in the picture. And so in this case, he really showed, he loved her very much. Showing great reverence for her. Well, let's see what else we can see. Okay. Let's go do that. So along the way, you'll see this coffin lid, and it's not just impressive in size, but it's got a cool backstory, Doctor. It was reused? Indeed. Uh, the concept of recycling or reusing was one that was applied often in ancient Egypt, especially among royalty. If a king died way before he was expected to die, early on in his reign, they would not have ready his coffin. And so they would reuse that of another royal person. Never asked the other person, just went ahead and did it. It's a, it's a fascinating artifact too, and what's cool about the exhibit is the mirror in it where folks can see the viewpoint of the deceased. That's right. On the inside part of the coffin lid, which is what we're looking at, is a depiction of a goddess by the name of Nut, and she's a goddess of the sky, and she is stretched out, looking down at the deceased, and she's protecting him on his eternal voyage in the afterlife. So we get to see, again, that unique viewpoint. It's fascinating. Yes, it, right. It's fascinating. So much to learn. Dr. Dirk, thanks for taking My the time. Thank we you. appreciate it. You have to come down and check this out for yourself. Admission to the Ramsey's The Great Special Exhibit is $35 for adults and $27 for children. That also gets you into the Hall of Ancient Egypt. Or if you're a member of the museum, it's just $20 to see all of these stunning ancient Egyptian treasures. And why not make a day of it? There's so much to see here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Your family can experience the wonder of the Great Barrier Reef or go on a National Parks adventure at the Wortham Giant Screen Theater. Step back into the prehistoric era at the Morian Hall of Paleontology to see running, roaring dinosaur skeletons. And if priceless gems are more your thing, you can see a stunning display of gems and minerals right here, some of the most rare and brilliant in the world. We've got lots more to show you, including the Hall of Ancient Egypt, with some insight from the exhibit's Cairo-based curator. And we'll be giving one lucky family the VIP treatment here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Keep watching for your chance to win All Access Museum Passes for Four. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Owen and Lisa here with you from the Houston Museum of Natural Science. We're giving you guys an inside look at a world premiere exhibition, Ramses the Great and the Gold of the Pharaohs. And don't forget the exhibit where we are, the Hall of Ancient Egypt. Now, with so many artifacts to uncover, excavating them was really a labor of love. It took a unique partnership between the team here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science and their counterparts in Egypt. Here's how they made it happen. We're very thrilled to be premiering this in Houston. This is a world premiere opening in Houston and then it'll go to another city in America and then it'll go over to Europe. So this is a once in a lifetime chance for the people of Texas to come here and see this exhibition. The role of the consulate here, we uh, had communications with uh, our um, Ministry of Antiquities and the uh, management of the uh, museum and also the management went to uh, Cairo and talked to the uh, officials there. 
When people come to the exhibit, they're going to see some of the most priceless treasures right from Egypt that many of them have never been seen before outside of Egypt. We take uh, a great pride for this uh, uh, exhibition and uh, bringing one of the greatest king uh, of ancient Egypt here in Houston for this exhibition to make American people see how it, it was a great uh, civilization so it will encourage them to, uh, to go and think about visiting Egypt and see the real thing there. We're very fortunate that they gave us the permission to tour pieces that have never been seen before. Specifically the one right behind me here which is a uh, silver coffin which uh, in Egypt back in the 19th dynasty gold was very common but silver was the material that was really really rare and here we have the only silver coffin out of the entire Egyptian pharaoh history. And while Ramses the Great is a traveling exhibit open through May 23rd, the museum's Hall of Ancient Egypt is a permanent fixture here. Yeah, and the curator for that exhibit is actually from Cairo, and he has assembled a world-class collection of artifacts for Houstonians to enjoy for years to come. The first feature of our new hall is a dynamic timeline, giving you some sense of the... 5,000 odd years of culture represented in the hall. The hall itself, we don't display things chronologically, but uh, more thematically. So we'll have objects from all times of pharaonic history rubbing up against one another in a showcase to illustrate a particular theme. You'll notice we've improved the lighting here in the Hall of Ancient Egypt. A major reason is so that you can see the objects in the 92 cases here much more clearly. The rooms in the Hall of Ancient Egypt are arranged according to different themes. We're trying to make people aware of the texture of Egyptian life. Most of our visitors won't want or won't be able to travel 7,000 miles to Egypt to see the sites. So we've tried to bring the monuments as well as the objects to them. For the Egyptians, they did really think you could take it with you. And that's one explanation for the astonishing quantity of stuff that still remains in tombs for archeologists to find. Tutankhamun was buried in, let me count them, something like 10 layers of physical and magical protection, uh, keeping his mummy from tomb robbers and a bad afterlife. Nefertari is one of the wives of Ramesses the Great and her tomb in the Valley of the Queens has some of the finest carving and painting to survive from ancient Egypt. Oh wow, how amazing is that? Yeah, and did you know that some of the recreated fixtures here at the Ancient Hall of Egypt were made by a business right here in Houston? The talented team at Root Lab created some of the stunning displays you'll see here at the museum. Things like the beautifully detailed golden shrines of Tutankhamun and a colorful replica of the tomb of Queen Nefertari. It's so intricate and just beautiful, a fitting tribute for a queen. The team's precision and skill really makes it feel like you're stepping into a whole other world. And we'd love for you to have your family step into that world. Here's your chance right now to win a family four-pack VIP museum experience. The prize pack is valued at more than $450 and includes everything that the Houston Museum of Natural Science has to offer, including all permanent exhibit halls, plus the Ramses the Great exhibit and the immersive virtual reality experience. It'll also get your family of four into the Cockrell Butterfly Center, the Wortham Giant Screen Theater, and the Burke Baker Planetarium. Head over to click2houston.com to enter now. You'll need this keyword. Pharaoh. You have until 7 o'clock tomorrow night to enter. Good luck. And museum memberships are a great way to save money on admission. Members get free, unlimited admission to all of the permanent exhibits at the Houston Museum of Natural Science, including their location in Sugarland. There are also exclusive members only events and exhibit previews, plus a 10% discount at the museum store. And of course, there are lots of educational opportunities, lectures, workshops, even summer camps for the kids. Individual memberships start at just $65 and family membership started $115. And right now we're offering a special 15% membership discount to KPRC2 Insiders 
You can find that on your Insider Dashboard at Click2Houston.com. Such a great deal for all the things you can experience right here at the museum. Yeah, speaking of experiences, how about a virtual reality encounter with the spirit of Queen Nefertari? Ramses the Great's wife takes us on an adventure inside the Abu Simbel Temple when we come back. Today we're giving you access to the world premiere of the Ramses the Great and the Gold of the Pharaohs exhibition along with the Hall of Ancient Egypt here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. And if you want to get the full experience here at the museum, you've got to check out Ramses the Great and Queen Nefertari in virtual reality. It's truly an immersive experience taking you inside two of Ramses' most notable monuments. Let's go. One of the highlights of the Ramses the Great exhibit is a virtual reality experience that transports you to Egypt. Ramses and Nefertari Journey to Osiris is an immersive, multi-sensory, animated VR experience. Here once again is John Norman from World Heritage Exhibitions with more insight. One of the very, very unique things that we, we were able to do with this exhibition is we have a virtual reality experience as an add-on to the exhibition where you get to go to, in a virtual world, to a place called Abu Simbel, which was one of the great temples that Ramses the Great created uh, back in ancient time. And you get a first-hand fly-through of the temple and it's just a wonderful, wonderful, very unique experience. And to create what you'll see here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science, a production team traveled to Egypt to capture details inside the Abu Simbel Temple and Nefertari's tomb, gathering photos and video in high resolution to enhance your experience. So as Queen Nefertari guides you through the historic monuments, you're getting a first-hand look at what the crew was seeing deep inside of those impressive structures. Get ready to fly through sandstorms in your cinematic motion chair. You'll feel, you'll see, and hear, you'll even smell things along the way of this exciting journey. But don't just take our word for it. Here's what some museum visitors had to say about their virtual reality experience. The details and the smells, the, the whole experience that you get with it was really, really amazing. It was, it was very real. You were, you were there. This put a cherry on the top of the ex exhibition. It felt like I was on a flying carpet. <laughs> the story and the history of it was fantastic. That was fun. I like the flying carpet. Was expecting 3D and it ended up being 5D. Uh, the smells, the turns, uh, was captivating. It, it was extremely awesome. Wow, truly a multi-sensory experience. Now, the tickets are priced at $18 for adults and children or just $15 for museum members. This is so cool. You guys got to check it out. Now let's meet an Egyptian artist who's currently calling Houston home. And he shares with us how Ramses inspired his latest paintings. So I create a painting inspired from the King Ramses called The Secret of the Golden Ramses. It's a huge achievement for me to collaborate with a museum. The way I created this faith, the way of lighting, it's kind of um, the king, he's coming back to the life. He's coming back to us, but the lighting, it's kind of the permit shape. All my artwork, it's all about symbols. So I want to make something really modern and contemporary at the same time, inspired from this amazing uh, civilization. It is so interesting to hear the meaning behind the painting of Ramses. And if this look into ancient Egypt, the history and the culture is something that's inspired you, well, guess what? You can learn about traveling to Egypt right here on site at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Just look for the kiosk near the entrance to the Ramses of the Great exhibit. And even without hopping on a plane, you can still take home a piece of ancient Egypt. Adorn yourself with jewels, find the perfect accent piece for your home, and you can even snag fun souvenirs for the kids. We'll be right back.
We've enjoyed giving you a look inside the Hall of Ancient Egypt here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. And learning more about Ramses the Great, who ruled for more than 60 years and built temples and monuments that still stand today. The Hall of Ancient Egypt is a permanent exhibit, but if you want to see Ramses the Great and the gold of the pharaohs, you'll want to make plans to visit soon. This world premiere exhibition is here in Houston through May 23rd. Of course, there's so much more for you and your family to see here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. Step into a simulated tropical rainforest with more than 1,500 butterflies. The Cockrell Butterfly Center also features exotic plants and a 50-foot waterfall. Or go stargazing at the Burke Baker Planetarium. Right now you can see stars of the pharaohs or a variety of other shows where you can explore the universe. You can even experience Pink Floyd's The Dark Side of the Moon at the planetarium. The Houston Museum of Natural Science also has two convenient satellite locations in the Houston area. HMNS at Sugarland is located in the heart of Fort Bend County. The Sugarland Museum has a paleontology hall, complete with larger than life dinosaur fossils, an interactive hall of technology, and plenty of hands-on activities for the whole family. And the historic George Observatory, nestled inside Brazos Bend State Park, features three telescopes that offer up awe-inspiring views of the heavens every Saturday night. Its location away from the city means the stars are big and bright. It's also the perfect place to check out special events like meteor showers and eclipses. Before we go, we want to remind you guys that we are giving away a VIP museum experience for four. Yes, this family four-pack is valued at more than $450 and includes everything that the Houston Museum of Natural Science has to offer, including all of the permanent exhibit halls, plus the Ramses the Great exhibit, and the immersive virtual reality experience. Go to clicktohouston.com to enter now with the keyword pharaoh. Our contest closes tomorrow night at 7. And if you'd like more information to help plan your visit here to the Houston Museum of Natural Science, you can find that information at hmns.org. And remember to look for a special 15% discount on museum memberships for KPRC2 insiders. You can find that on your insider dashboard at clicktohouston.com. And that's it for us from the Museum District. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great night.